From what we've discussed, from what we've discussed, we've seen all what we've been implementing, right? Now, from here, let's see our series circuit. Let's just take the key concept that when, whenever we solve, in quotes, you'll be able to like back your solvings up, probably by saying it leads by social value or lag by social value. You know what I'm saying? Now, from here, for your series AC circuit, for your series AC circuit, series AC circuit, series AC circuit, when you have your pure um, resistance, pure resistance, when you have your pure resistance, let's see the circuit diagram. This is your pure resistance. This is number one. Number two, pure inductance. Now, from here, we said series AC circuit. From what we discussed before, previously, we said, um, you know, you already understood the concept now that whenever you have your, as far as AC circuit is concerned, you can have, you can have your resistor present in it alone. You can have your capacitor present in it alone. Likewise, what your what inductor. Now, let's take it one by one. Let's take it one by one. For the first one, for the first one. Series AC circuit, series AC circuit, meaning pure resistance, pure resistance. What we need to take note here is that, you know, we said we want to look at this subtopic, right? You'll be looking at the circuit diagram itself. These are the circuit diagram, right? These are the circuit diagram. You'll be looking at the facial diagram. You'll be looking at the facial diagram. I are going to be looking at the um, Agant diagram. Meaning, by the time we've gotten our value, how do we plot this value on Agant diagram? Now, for this first one, um, what it means is that, you know, you have impedance, you have impedance here, you know, it is your, in your impedance that is equivalent to what? Resistance. I get what I'm saying. From what we've discussed previously, it is your impedance that is equivalent to your resistance. Now, to get the impedance here, by formula, we call from Ohm's law, what do you have? V is equals to I R. Call this equation one. Then we said since impedance is equivalent to R, equation one becomes V equals to what? IZ. Call this two. Now make, make Z the subject of the formula. It becomes what? Z equals to what? V over I. Call this equation three. So the concept is that we want to see equation three in pure resistance. We want to see equation three in pure inductance. And we also want to see in you know, a pure capacitance. Now for this guy. The idea is that you are going to say that the voltage, the voltage is in phase with the um, current. I got what I'm saying. We are using complex number. We are using the re we are doing representation of complex number. From complex number, we call we have the Cartesian form and we have the word polar form. You know, by Cartesian form, this is the representation. Z is equals to A plus J B, right? The polar form Z is equals to what R Z equals to what R theta. Hope you remember this. This is short form. This is still the same thing I'm saying R open bracket cos theta plus J sine theta. So I'm going with this. Now you want to represent this Z, meaning impedance in one, in two, and in three. Again, I'm saying now in one, this is how you represent your impedance. For one, which is pure resistance, your impedance, meaning equation three, becomes what? V zero degree divided by I zero degree. Now, what's the interpretation of this? What this means is that your voltage is in phase with this current. It is in phase with this current. Here's how it works. Relate it to Cartesian coordinates. 
related to what Cartesian coordinates. You know, by Cartesian coordinates, I have my x and y axis, right? This is my x axis. This is my x axis, and this is my what y axis. Now, from here, what just now from this guy, the idea is that I'm interested in two parts. I'm interested in two parts. Okay, it's actually three parts. The first one is when it is in phase. The second one is when it lags. The third one is when it leads. I get what I'm saying. For the first one, say you have this. Say you have this. This is what? 90 degree, right? Let's take the other one. This is also what? This is um, also 90 degree. The overall idea is that for your register, for your pure register, they are in phase, meaning you don't have neither lags or lead. It does not occur in pure resistance. But for your pure inductance, both of them occur. Meaning it is either your between your voltage and your current, one lags, one lead. I get what I'm saying. Between your voltage or your current, one is lagging, while the other one is what leading. Similarly, for pure capacitance, one is lagging, the other one is what leading. Now Let's just apply what we know practically. When we say lag and leading, what's the idea? If if this one is greater, automatically this one becomes what lesser. I get what I'm saying. If this number is greater, eventually the other number will be what lesser. Now for this, call this case one, call this case one, and call this case two. Now for case one, for case one, take note: voltage leads, voltage leads. Right? You know, this is what we are following. We are following equation three. We are following equation three. I'm representing equation three, meaning that I'm having my voltage first with respect to what? Current. With respect to current. Now, for this for this case one, which is for inductor, here's how it works. Your voltage leads by your current, what lags. Now, writing equation three, writing equation three, it becomes your impedance, which is Z, is equals to your voltage is leading by what? 90 degree. From our explanation here, your voltage is leading by 90 degree, meaning you have your voltage leading by what? 90 degree or divided by your what? Current. Any question? No question. Now, similarly, he said for your capacitance, for your capacitance, what happens to your voltage? Is it leading or lagging? Lagging. lagging. Meaning your voltage is lagging by what? 90 degree, negative 90 or divided by what? I zero degree zero degree now if voltage is leading here what will happen to current it's is lagging is lagging by what 90 degree in this case if voltage is lagging what happens to your what current your current is what leading so this is it meaning your voltage leads for k1 which is your inductor while your current lags for k1 which is inductor similarly for case two, which is capacitor, your voltage lags while your current leads. And what we've said earlier, we said if one is leading, automatically the other would lag. If one is lagging, automatically the other would lead. But you see, um, pure resistance, both lead, um, leading or lagging does not occur, meaning they are in phase. They are in phase. There's no angle between them. They are in phase. So that's it. Now, moving on. Your impedance, you know, this is your circuit element separately. First one, only resistor. The second one, inductor, right? The third one, capacitor. Moving on, you have, you might have your circuit element comprising of, um, comprising of resistor and what? Capacitor. Comprising of resistor and what? Inductor. Comprising of resistor, capacitor, and inductor. What this means is that we have RL series circuit, right? RL series circuit. We have um, RC series circuit. We also have what? RLC series circuit. RLC circuit. Let's draw a diagram. 